If you guys need help gearing up for any of the new content in Red Dead Online, GTA Online, or just looking to grab some new games, check out G2A with the link in the description and use cashback code BOSS to save a little bit extra as well. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be checking out a secret outcome and cutscene that occurs if Arthur decides to shoot the Chelonians on top of the mountain when he goes to rescue and save Jamie. So I had no idea that this secret outcome or cutscene even existed until one of you guys pointed this out to me. And it is amazing to see all the alternative scenes that Rockstar put into the game just in case you decided to do something against the will of the mission. And that's what we're gonna be checking out in this video today. So again, in order to start this, two things need to occur. You need to receive a letter from Mary and then you need to go visit her and help her. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time but I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary. Um. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's um. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? 
Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. So once you've done that, now you need to head to Granite Pass, which is where the Chelonians are meeting and where Jamie is. And there's two ways to go about interacting with the Chelonians. I'm going to show you the positive way first, and then I'll show you the negative way second. <clears throat> Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Okay, so Jamie is now running off, and this is when you have the option to shoot the Chelonian master. So what I did is I pulled out a weapon and I lined up a shot and this is what occurred. Okay, that is simply amazing. As you guys saw there, the rest of the Chelonians freak out and they jump off the edge yelling Chelonia or something like that. That is hysterical. I mean, Rockstar had to record a separate cutscene, separate lines of dialogue. They could have just failed the mission right then and there, but I'm pretty sure they assumed so many people would shoot the Chelonians that they added a completely secret cutscene into the game. That's so cool. Now, unfortunately, it does fail the mission. Like, Jamie doesn't turn around and, you know, start yelling at Arthur saying, you know, why did you do that? I can't believe you decided to, to shoot the Chelonian master. But it is still pretty cool. Now, I wanted to do a few more tests with this. The next test I did was... What would happen if you just shot a regular Chelonian, not the Chelonian master? Turns out the same thing occurs. Even the master will go and jump off the cliff. Uh, that to me is pretty funny. Now, I also tried this without shooting the Chelonians. What would happen if you just attacked them with your fists? Well, unfortunately, it just fails the mission. Uh, even if you like try and beat one of them up by grappling on them, uh, the mission will fail. You won't get that secret cutscene. And last but not least, I tried to see what would happen if you killed all of them with Deadeye. Would you still happen to get that special cutscene? And the answer is no, there's no Chelonians left. So that's kind of interesting. Because that secret cutscene was so hilarious, I wanted to see if this would happen again if I chose the more antagonistic negative route with dealing with the Chelonians. And this is what occurred when I tried that. <clears throat> Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, 
His sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Goddamn lunatic. Leave him alone. That's enough, Arthur! Kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now, let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Okay, so that's kind of unique. It turns out that this secret cutscene is only available if you choose to greet and be nice and friendly to the Chelonian Master. Obviously, with this outcome, you end up choking him, but uh, after that occurs, the Chelonians, like, they just sort of run off. They're not even on the mountain when you go to rescue Jamie. Now, because this fails the mission, I'm not sure if this has any impact on the Chelonians that you can meet in the epilogue as John Marston. I would assume no, but I'm not sure how you would go about testing this. I don't have a save where I haven't done this mission. Uh, I was actually like going back and, and replaying the mission. And then, of course, once you did that, you would have to get through all the other chapters uh, just to get to the epilogue. So I don't know if that's a, a worthwhile test to ultimately do. In fact, I'm pretty sure Rockstar even accounted for something like that because in the epilogue, the guy that you meet in Sand Knee like clearly says that they have a new master. So I don't think it would matter anyways. But I found this to be absolutely hysterical. A secret cutscene that you might not have known about in Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, and that's what happens if you decide to get fed up with the Chelonian master and shoot him before chasing after Jamie. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.